Hey guys, Daryl Shergin, Quest for Vape. We are live. This is a how to build coils workshop. I do this every week. It's nothing fancy. If you're an advanced vapor and this is boring, you, you found the wrong place to go hang out for the next hour. If you're new to RBA builds, RDA builds, uh, fairly new in vaping, and you wanted to find out about how to build and you don't want to pester your local vape shop people, then um, feel free to hang out for the next hour. I'm joined by Vaping Moderation, Zach Marabli down in Louisiana. What's up, Zach? What's going on, Daryl? You know me. Uh, I just changed my uh, logo there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. Thanks to the, the logo. Yeah, guys over at uh, Vape and Swag hooked me up with that. And then I got a website, too, is now not just on YouTube. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, nice evolution. I love that new logo. The website thing is a big step. I'm glad to see it. It's looking, it's looking really nice. I'm really happy with the way it, way it looks. It's very styling. Very cool. We'll have to talk about that off air. And uh, I'm also joined by Ra uh, Vaping Raven and the Raven's Roast. What's up, Raven? How you doing, buddy? What's going on, people? What's going on? My uh, new video should be coming out around Thanksgiving, so I'm told. By my um, producer, so. Oh, yeah, I'm a producer. Executive producer. An exec exec executive producer. Very nice. Pegasus okay. From from Pegasus Paper Academy. Yeah. Get out of here! You booked that guy as your agent. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's fucking great. That's awesome. So let's talk about what we're all vaping on, and then uh, then we'll get into some some stuff over here. Well, All right, I'll, go ahead. I'm vaping on the Opus 200 with my velocity. And Very nice. Some uh, brain matter from fluent vapors. Fluent, okay. And I got uh, X Cube 2 with the nice. HP floor. And then that's just got some. Homemade stuff that I call squirt. Are you DIY? Oh yeah. yeah. I I knew that about you. I'm just getting you talking so about that's it. That's about it. That's what I okay. got. Cool. That Opus X, that that Opus uh, mod, that's a DNA 200, isn't it? Right. Uh, yeah. I How do you to, like um, it? Yeah. Yeah. Evolve 200. Okay. Same difference. Okay. All right, and then we got Zach. What's up, Zach? What is up, Daryl? I'm vaping on this uh, Danny Extreme V2 Plus. Probably the only one in the United States because they just just released it over in Germany. Um, Spring-loaded 510 center pin and uh, new upgraded firmware. And I got on it this tug this old tugboat. Can you believe I went back to a tugboat like? I have all these awesome Addies, and the other day I was like, man, I really want my tugboat back, so I, you know, Why pulled not? it up. It's, Tugboat's it's a, an awesome RDA. It is. It's freaking awesome, man. It, it has huge flavor. I love it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, um, I know you got that Danny from uh, Daniel. From yeah, from Danny. And, <laughs> then, and you sent that out for, an up, like, an update in the software? Um, well, the original one had a fixed center pin, so you would have Addies like sticking up just a little bit and stuff. This one has a spring-loaded one, and it's made of uh, copper beryllium, like a new upgraded copper material. And then the firmware is upgraded, so now you can um, you can switch through wires for temp control on the first menu. Really? You don't have to dive down into like the heater configuration or anything anymore. You can just flip through. Um, it'll do nickel, tungsten, titanium, uh, stainless steel, and then an optional one that you configure. Oh, and uh, and also their resist their IP30. The, the die what? codes the die codes wire. It's called uh, knifey 30. It's nickel, iron, 30. Okay. I think I have something like that. Fer nickel ferrous, something like that. That's interesting. So, how many watts does that go up to? This is only a 40 watt device. Okay. Um, and the way to overcome that, if if 
40 watts is not enough to you, for you. It goes up to 12 volts, so you just build higher ohm coils. And this thing will this thing will do 40 watts all the way up to 3.5 ohms. No kidding. So it's pretty pretty tight device when it comes to that. I mean, higher end voltage than um, DNA 200. That's pretty cool. Um, sounds very sophisticated. And you, <laughs> tungsten as a metal to use for vaping? Um, that's what's in your that's what's in your light bulbs. Yeah, that was like. <laughs> Thomas Edison's uh, is it Thomas Edison? I mean, we've been we've been breathing in the same room as light bulbs for a long time. Or... I just other than a light bulb application, I never heard of tungsten like ever. So what do I they know... use? What do they use in those like uh, those heater vents in your bathroom and stuff? You know, they'll have the ceiling heater. Never was curious enough to find out. Yeah. I was... I a tungsten? I was thinking, probably. Oh, I don't know. I might have to bust open some light bulbs. <laughs> Wind me up some coils. But uh, let's see what I'm vaping on today. It turns it's fun, funny you should ask. I've got my rig V1 and Roughneck. And then um, I'm going to do something real quick here. I've got a crown tank. Um, the crown and the IPV D2 is a nice combo. And I've been getting a lot of questions. People seem to think because I did a video on how to break in the crown tank coils, they think I'm responsible for any mishaps that happen with their crown tank. As I, I guess I've become the complaint center for you, Well, I should start sending them a bill. But uh, I wanted to show you guys, if your tank is leaking, there's a couple of reasons why. A, it might just be a shit coil. It might be a shit tank. So if that's the case, Go push it back to the manufacturer. Go push it back to the shop that you bought it from. I'm sorry you bought something bad. Aspire, Kanger, uh, every company out there is going to have uh, a deep, you know, a bad product once in a while. So that's not a uh, quest for vape responsibility, understand, just because I did a video. Uh, aside from that, what you have to do is make sure, this is just going to take a minute or two, make sure that coil is snugly... Uh, screwed down. It's got an O-ring, and that's sometimes the culprit. This O-ring at the base of the coil, you know, some some coils went out like without the right sized O-ring. So that if if that O-ring is not chunky enough, it's not gonna it's not gonna seal. But you also got to make sure that this thing is screwed down tightly enough. I'm just trying to get this in the field of view. You guys both have crown tanks. You've used them. If you don't tighten that coil down enough. You want to make sure it's snug, right? Yeah, but not but not over tightened. And you should also mention, Daryl, that uh, we've we're to a point with the crown tank now, like we were with the pro tank back then. Now they got so many they got clones of the crown tank and clones of the crown coils. And so okay. if you try and if you're trying to mix match, like if you accidentally get some clone coils and you have the real crown, that that might be a mismatch. I know with the um, with the wow. sub. Uh, not the sub tank, the um, with the pro tank mini or whatever it was called. Um, yeah, yeah. If you got the fake coils because you wanted to get cheaper coils, they wouldn't actually make a good seal with the real pro tank. Wow. And the, and the real pro tank coils would be too big for the fake pro tank. I have a a real and a fake pro tank, and I I could see the difference in coils, so they wouldn't match up. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, Kanga had that happen to them too with their aftermarket coils. Yeah, yeah. So if, I wouldn't put it past at this point in the game that you want to make sure you have authentic, uh, an authentic crown and authentic coils, or else you you asking for trouble. No kidding. So like, I mean, these are these. This is an original pack of coils that came out to me from. They sent me a bunch back in April and May. And it doesn't have any authenticity, but that, back then nobody ever heard of UL to, to, to clone them. So I guess, all right, so that's one culprit. Another culprit is screwing it down. Another culprit is this housing over, and thanks for mentioning that, because I, I wasn't even aware. No, that's when you, your tank completely unscrews, and um, when you screw it back together, that's so you can clean it. When you screw it back together, you got to make sure, the only place I would I would use a little extra force in tightening is... These two over here, just for the tank itself, get that housing on there, and not 
Don't overcrank the top fill, but get that housing tightened down as tight as you can get it hand tight because if you see a gap on that chimney, then you might it, not yeah not hit might, the O-ring. Yeah, exactly. You might not have the right seal, and um, and it could it could be that could be the culprit somewhere. Like, now, could, I, could I see that that package for your crown coils again? Yeah, that's the package that you have. Now yeah. I want to mention that um, no, the original. Think this is this is the package I have, and this is right from someone that actually worked with UL. You know, looks kind of the same. Even has uh, yeah. yeah. They um they stopped using the white grommets on those coils and started using just black grommets. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's taken me a hell of a long time to work. Through. Um, this is my my last coil. There's now one with the black What's grommet. Right there. See the black grommet on there. Okay. I think. I've always thought that they should use different colors, like one for like, like stainless, one for Kenthal, one for a nickel. Or is it? I used to think that they. I think that they should make different colors for what's in that coil. One for nickel, one I for agree. stainless. I agree. You know what just, I mean? Just so that there's more than just a little tiny uh, laser etched writing on the coil, like. Make it obvious. Like Joy Tech does a nice job of that. Black is their canthal, um, red is their titanium, and blue is their uh, their nickel. And I like that system. Yeah. But um. Anyway, so like I'm trying to troubleshoot over here so that people stop asking me the same. I don't mind answering the question, but I'm doing it over and over again. So you want to crank down this housing, make sure that that's tight, and then um, and make sure that you know. Listen, you don't have to let this thing sit overnight. You just when you're priming it. Obviously, hold it at a 45 degree. Follow the directions. They come in the coil thing. So you prime it. Be patient with that. Let it let it wick like four or five times. It's going to take to suck in the juice. Now, a couple other reasons. I've seen people use 50-50 juice or like really thin, high PG juice that they use in other tanks. They use it in this, and the juice is kind of ro rolling real fast through that cotton, and uh, and it gets a little leaky. That's the kind of juice you're using. It doesn't it doesn't really like that thin juice. It likes 70-30, 80-20 juice. It's, it's a sub ohm tank. It likes the high VG. It needs that viscosity. Now, what's along the side of the coil, I also push in my, um, my, my juice bottle, and I hold it there for a couple of seconds, squeeze it, and I do it on each one. Okay. So it gets the bottom, too. That's, you know, that's a good... That'll work. Uh, I leave those empty. I mean, I don't put juice on those. I, I just prime it from the top, and I look at those as an indicator when it's really primed. Then yeah. I can see the juices come down and saturated from the inside out. I so, do, too. Now, another, another reason it can leak is this. I filled it not quite all the way to the top. I fill it to the base right below this uh, cross piece. It's not focus. That metal cross piece, I don't fill it above that. I fill it below. So there's, some, there's an air pocket. Now when I tighten this down, it's going to, as I thread it down, it's going to put pressure inside the tank. So if you had the airflow closed before, open it up now when you're going to ratchet this down because it's actually acting like a piston and pushing pressure in. Right? So that could push some extra additional, a little bit of juice when you're first filling it up for the first time. So that's another thing. Now, if, if, if all of that doesn't work and your tank's still leaking, then take it back to where you got it from and tell them to return the fucking thing. And um, speaking, of, uh, speaking of clones, actually, I found out the other day that this RBA deck that I got is a clone RBA deck. No kidding. And the way you can tell if you have a clone RBA deck is uh, the bottom part right here should unscrew so that, um, so that you can pull the pin, the positive pin, out. Right, but on the fake one, it's actually just press fitted on there. Wow! Right, so it just pops, it just pops right off, and it's press fitted right back on, and it doesn't make a good connection. So when I went to disassemble this the other day, that's when I figured out that it was press fit. So where did you buy that? This actually came with um, my black crown tank, huh. but 
uh, I checked and the black crown tank is correct, but they offered this to try and sweeten the deal for what was basically too high of a price for the black one. And uh, okay. and I took it thinking that one one RBA deck is as good as another, right? That's okay. So so that's up. I I didn't even know there were uh, clones of the coils and clones of the RBA. All right, another question I keep getting is on the 0.15 ohm nick, uh, nickel coil for the crown. How do you break that in any different from the regular stainless steel 0.25 or 0.5 ohm coils? You don't have to be as painstaking with it as, as I am with the stainless steel because you're in temperature control. So when you break that in, start at like 350 degrees max temp. And maybe if you have joules or wattage setting, then and like a lower wattage setting and work your way up on both max temp and also joules and or wattage. So you go from lower power to higher power. But you're also in temp control, so ideally it should keep you from burning a coil if your temperature you control to, mod works. I also do a slower ramp up time so on it to break it in. How about even just shorter, quick puffs in the beginning? Don't try and vape on it. Don't try and take, like, big flavorful inhales. You're not going to get those. It's got to break in the, co the, the cotton first, so just quick quick toots all along. So this is a brand-new coil in here. The cotton's – you saw me put juice on that, on that coil. It's maybe been five minutes, not even. You know, just quick puffs. I'm not going to enjoy this for the first 10 or 20 – puffs. I'm just breaking in a coil that's going to last me for two, three weeks, right? So. Since you're vaping your crown, do you think I should vape mine? I think so. We should be in unison over here. All right. I'll, I'll get my crown coil. Hold on. My <laughs> crown tank. You well, you can send the checks to uh, to all three of us. <laughs> let me grab my. Let me grab mine, too. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm not... I don't have anything to show you guys yet. Oh, I'll wait till Zach comes back and then I'll announce it. They're still developing the next version of. Uh, it, they're not going to change this. They're always going to have this. The crown tank's always going to be the crown, but they are coming out with a new tank at some point. I was supposed to be out in, in November. Now I'm told like maybe January. But if they wait too long, someone's going to come up with the idea, invent that, and they're going to have to go figure out something else new. Zach, you back? Yeah, I just uh, misplaced yeah. my crown a little. They let me know that they're coming out with a gold rose color for the crown tank. Yeah, that's not that's not really my thing right there. All right, I had to just refill mine, so just excuse the the wetness. Also, on your cap for your crown, right in this hole right there, right where the hole is, there's a gasket. Yeah. Make sure that that's still in there, or it'll leak too. And there's actually two replacements for that in in the crown tank box. Well, because there's one gasket underneath where the coil touches the underneath of that um, of that tank section, and so if that falls out while you're washing it or something, then you will have no seal on your coil. Ah. Yeah. You know what else does that? The uh, the trifecta tank. Has a nice, yeah. Anyway, but yeah. So this, these are some troubleshooting ways, just in case folks are out there having problems with this thing and think that Daryl is the warranty center for you. Well, I am not, but you know that'll spare because twenty thousand views on a video tells me that people have need help with that. That's why I did that video. Okay, enough said on that. What do you guys want to? Uh, what do you guys want to build today? Well, I had a couple things to add to your thing, if you don't mind. Perfect. I don't mind at all. All right. Um, this is just my personal preference. Before I uh, uh, take my hits on it, I'll close off my airflow all the way. Don't fire it. Don't do nothing. I'll take a couple of puffs. And you can usually see air bubbles. You're not going to see them now because it's already broken in. But you can usually see air bubbles coming out and then when I go to my slow when I breaking it in I don't open up my airflow all the way I'll open it up like about that much you know and then I'll hit it and then until I 
wanted to open up all the way. Okay, that's good to know. So you're so you're restricting the draw to pull yeah. to pull air through to pull juice through exactly. to help it wick better. Exactly. Okay, I like it. I like it. Yeah, that's a good strategy. We always used to do that with Kanga products and and like ego style stuff. So. Oh man, I need one of those. What Zach is wearing right now? <laughs> I love this thing. It's so much easier to build when you've got like magnification on your eyes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not young, like I used to be. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Well, I'm still young, but this is like super vision. How old are you, Zach? <laughs> Thirty-two. Oh, you're a wee baby. See? Then how, come, then how come I gotta use these things to build coils? I don't know, man. <laughs> because you're, you're a uh, wife, baby. Too many sessions of, uh... Never mind. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. Too many. Not, a, not enough sessions. Hey, um... I think I'm gonna do a rebuild on my... Roughneck RDA. What do you guys think? Sure. All right. Yeah, I haven't seen the uh, Roughneck uh, built yet. Either that or maybe a rebuild on the Kennedy RDA. Okay. You want to see the Roughneck, huh? We'll do the Roughneck. It's all beat up. You guys ready? Rough it up. I'm ready. All right. I'm going to hijack the screen. Go down for uh, all you. Okay. So the rig comes hybrid style with a rough neck. And um, this thing here we go. That's the that's the five ten connection for this. I like it because it's just all one solid straight pin. There's no possibility of the negative touching the positive on the battery. Anything special you guys want to see me build? Got a lot of different. Okay. Fine. 24 gauge rugged wire it is. This is going to be a, a very aggressive build. Just because I happen to have some of this rugged wire. This is this is stainless steel with the barest hint of uh, of canthal alloyed in, huh. and it's it ohms out pretty low. I'm not going to be able to tell you what it ohms out to because I have no way of screwing my roughneck down onto an RDA. You know what? Hold on. I'll be back. I'm, I'm not going to do the rough neck today. I'm going to do uh, the Kennedy because I want to be able to show what ohms I come up with. Um, talk amongst yourselves for a minute if you guys don't mind. Sorry. Crap. Now I'm stuck with you. Cheap is true. You don't come on the G spot in all this time and now i got to talk to you. What the fuck? I I told everybody I was going to play Fallout. Yeah. I don't got time for the G spot when the when the wasteland is calling me. If anybody's worried about what the G spot is, it's a video chat on net which uh, Zach is a member of. Yeah, and if you come if you come along, we will help you find the G spot right here. There we go. Ah, very nice. The G spot. Everybody needs the, the G spot. The G spot is very elusive. We're all hanging out there every night, pretty much. <laughs> You're gonna see a lot of reviewers from YouTube that hang out there. Mike Vapes, David Fagan. Uh, see, this is a. Oh, three. Daryl, this is a, a point nine coil I got in here. Uh-huh. And on a forty watt device, what? 
trucking. Oh. Works just fine. I mean, 40 watts does the trick if you build for 40 watts. That's awesome. What uh, what kind of build do you have? Uh, stainless steel. It's like probably a, a 12 wrap or something like that. It's pretty high on the wrap, single coil. Okay. That's that. Um, where do you get your stainless steel, and what kind do you use? I use a 316L so far is the only thing I use, and um, I get it from Beetleon. Okay. Which is a. Uh, I don't think I have a package for them right now, but they're a big company that does arts and crafts supplies. Cool. And that's made for like jewelry to stick in your ear and your tongue and that sort of thing, so it's super clean. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess if it's good enough for a Prince Albert piercing, then um, yeah, should be able to vape on it okay. Well, I use barbells for piercing to shake up being agitated in my mahi juice. Okay. DIY, got a little, got a little bling bling habit in there. Yeah. Are those uh, are those flavored with previously used? No, they're cleaned. They're cleaned. I haven't tried that yet. Hey, if any of you guys are able to pull up the uh, comments, oh yeah, no, I, I'm gonna... we got we got 15 people watching. Well, that, wow, isn't that a record for you? Yeah, it might be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me just mention who's on here. We got Chad Charette. Dirty says the rig hits like a truckload of dicks. Chuck the vape. What's up, Chuck? Brian McDaniel. What's Dan up, Andy. Chuck? <laughs> Gregorius Cadenopolis. Hey, how you doing, buddy? And we got uh, Chuck the vape is talking about a Snow Wolf Mini or uh, okay. All right, Raffy. What's up, Raffy? Fluffy's in there. Dreambeard. All right, what's up, guys? Yeah, we got some actually. Uh, somebody's watching. This bullshit I do want to DJ LSB is on there. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, no way. Yeah, Felix LeBron, Mr. Cobra Fire. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of people in there. All right, just for you guys, I'm giving away. <laughs> just for you guys, I'm going to give away this Aura Mini today on this show because I know you. <laughs> right, I actually I have. What's that? I won. You won? All right, never mind. Raven's already got it. What's up, guys? Thanks for thanks for joining in over here. All right, back to my uh, back to my coil bill. I think I think Daniel came uh, just to be jealous of the uh, the Dicodes V2 Plus. He's like my baby. Yeah, he's like, why did I send that away right before they upgraded it? Well, I can tell Fluffy to go fuck himself. I can tell Daniel fight for Zid. We're getting all this out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you start, you're starting early there, Raven. Raven's roasting everybody and everything that comes across his path. Just get shit out of the way. I'm pulling out a perfectly good set of nice Claftons from my uh, my Kennedy, but you know what? They were a little bit of a pain in the ass for this RDA. So, I don't miss them at all. What do you got? You got, guys, what's that? Hope you're going to use Texas Tough to use uh, on that. Just because you're here, I'm going to use Texas Tough Cotton. What's that gal's name down in Texas? Mama, Mama Bear? Mama Vape. Mama Vape. All right. Sharon. Yeah. Okay. This is like, this stuff is really burly. This rugged wire. Someone just join us. Who? It's somebody just join us. What's up, buddy? Who's that? It's Damien. Hey. Hey, Dan. Fantastic. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, not too bad. Just got home from work. All right. What What do you do for work? I'm a delivery 
slash sales guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Good to have you here, Damien. What are you right. building then? Uh, I was just about to do a build on my Kennedy. Okay. This is an authentic that I got at a show, but uh, the, the clones are pretty good. There's a Tobacco clone that's been really doing the job nicely for people. I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter size post. All right, Damien, what uh, okay, the uh, the Vapors Network up there in uh, in the UK and Ireland, is that is that where you're out of? Yeah, man, that's where I'm from. Okay. Hey, are you the guy that was on a couple of weeks ago that was cooking chicken? No, that wasn't you. Never no, mind. I don't think that was him. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was pounding his breast. <laughs> if it was me cooking, it was probably a pot noodle or a rustless cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Except tonight, <Yeah. 11. laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to hijack the screen over here and just find some coils. Nothing fancy. Three, four, five. I'm going to space these two. This rugged wire really is surly. It's it's gonna have a lot of slack. Stuff's very springy. Damien, what kind of build do you usually uh vape on? Normally just a standard countful zero point two build. Normally dual five reps of each side. It normally comes at zero point two. Okay. Yeah. Sounds middle of the road, not too aggressive. Not too not too conservative. Nice vape. What kind what's your what's your go to mod and RDA type build? Um my my mod I use my Segeli hundred watt, but we've got a lot coming up over Christmas and that we've a moving house so there's quite a lot going on. But after Christmas I'm looking at upgrading to a different mod. I'm um, not sure what, what I want there, but... Gotcha. Somebody's got a, a baby in the background, huh? Yeah, that's me. All right. I'm in Kitty Winks. <laughs> well, congratulations. I remember those days. Hey, I've got twins. Oh, jeez. <laughs> More power to you, buddy. I'm just pulling these leads out straight. Damien, I'm working with uh, Rugged Wire, which is a stainless steel and canthal alloy. It ohms out pretty low, kind of like nichrome in, in the resistance. It's actually a, like ohms out lower than nichrome, but, um, man, this stuff is really tough to work with. It's already stuck me a couple of times, too. I'm bleeding. I it looks tiny. I got to get you a real coil jig. Ah, uh, yeah, I keep seeing that nice, uh, pretty metal jig of yours. You praise it extensively. That RDA looks immense. What's that? That RDA looks amazing. Ah, uh, yeah. Like it's a, you never seen the Kennedy before? No. Nah. It's got bottom airflow up from... Uh, here, let's show everybody. I, I just jumped into this assuming everybody knows what this is. No, I've never seen that one before. Retail cost, this is a $120 RDA. Jesus. So you got four big juice, uh, four big air holes coming up from the bottom. And then uh, look at how they take a 90 degree turn. And then that's that's where that you is. build your coils, right over those, those big shotgun air holes. That is quite amazing. This is the top cap. So you only you don't need side airflow. You get airflow from the bottom, and then this is the a special cap, the demon cap that pulls in a little bit from the top. Yeah, it's uh, it's a cloud chucker, it certainly is, and um, 
and it has a tendency if you don't if you, if you over drip it leaks right down through those air holes so this in a hybrid mech mod combination could could result in a lot of juice going down into your battery so it's certainly I'm not going to say it's not for beginners but I'm just going to say be aware you gonna paint the coils on that yeah yeah so positioning of this is a little bit you want to pay attention to where this coil is going to wind up because look where it is right now and I can't fucking get this there we go I it's not over the air holes so I gotta get it there so I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of slack in these legs a little bit of length there so I can move this coil and I'm gonna tighten down just the negative on the outside. Now I'm going to shove that coil right into position where I want it to be. You can, show you, also guys. Pre, you can also pre bend with your leads while it's on the rod. You can. It's not too easy to do on this uh, on this particular type of wire. But yes, good point. Thank you. I got just the tool for this. Stick a screwdriver in there and just shove it over into the right spot. That's right. Um, so we're going to shove it over to the hole. <laughs> All right, so let me get the other one in. We'll do a little bit more tweaking when the other coil is in place. Bend that up out of the way. Now I get the other side in. Damien's got twins, huh? Boys, girls, one of each. Damien's gone. One of each, right? What? I think that's all they make is one of each. Oh, is that right, Raven? I, I don't. I don't think so. What? I think that's all that they make of boys and girls. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, I mean, you got two. You know what I mean. <laughs> Down the road in your life, you want to change your mind, I guess. But you know, hey. Yeah, honey. Next time around, I was thinking puppies. Yeah. Can we try for kittens? Hey, you know, uh, you're not presenting right now, right, Daryl? I'm not. Who's presenting? It's just flipping back and forth. Let's see it. it it does this weird thing. All right. How about now? Uh, it, my screen. Is it okay? Is he okay now? No, it's still switching. See, my screen shows it locked on me, and it's still switching, huh? Yeah, you actually have to press the present button. Oh. Present to everyone? Yeah. There you go. Oh, now something new every day. Ah, see that? Step it up your live game show. We've had times when the screen locked on Raven for many minutes at a time, losing the opportunity to, to look at other things that were going on. And um, I never knew that I was supposed to do that, so thank you. There you go. Yep. Missed opportunities. Yep. Raven, remember the tattoo girls? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I didn't get any of that. I just got you. In camera. Oh, well, you guys were supposed to be looking at the tattoo girls, and all you could see was that Raven. mug. Yeah. Oh, I'm so she sorry. Was, she was showing us all of her body art. And um. What you're talking about? What? <laughs> so, Zach, Zach, you know something, man? You can you, you go fuck yourself too. You know? <laughs> I, I love you too, Raven. Raven's an equal opportunity. You'd go fuck yourself. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, you're only special if you can get if you can get a, a quote from Raven. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. If he doesn't say that to you, he doesn't care. Right. Make it easier on everyone. I'm fucking sending out KY to make it easier to go fuck themselves. Thank you. Almost. 
I don't know what Ravens Christmas cards are going to say this year. Yeah. <laughs> Cash is short and times are hard, so here's your fucking Christmas card. It's going to be a paper bag. <laughs> It's not pretty yet, but it's about to be. Now you're doing a live show. There's no pressure. No. And I, and I know I can't see chat, so I got a feeling that a lot of people have been talking shit about me. Everybody's talking shit about you. Bunch of fucks. <laughs> I can't see chat either. All I can see is this build. All right. Let's see what I owned out to. Fucking cheap home reader. This one isn't worth. What's that? Yeah. That was like a ten dollar cheap. If you ever have the opportunity to buy this, don't. It's it's a piece of shit. Actually, it might have been closer to fifteen bucks. In a moment of weakness at a retail shop, I bought that, and uh, it doesn't work anymore. No matter what batteries I put in it, AAA batteries. It was that shop with the girls with the tattoos. No, wasn't there. You get distracted. I was <laughs> I was distracted. See, I don't really think that's correct. Point oh six. I don't think that's an oh six. I can't be. We'll see what it reads on something else. Put it on a, put it on a device, see what happens. Yeah. But first. Only first. I don't know. If it's a point oh six, I'm about to blow something up. Well, Live. Who's who's um who's ever got the uh, the chat open needs to pause the actual video in the chat. I got my headphones on, so even if I was watching the video, you wouldn't hear it. That's either Raven or Damien. I got I got my headphones in. All right, hey Damien. Hey, Damien jumped out of here. Oh, he did. Oh. Yeah, he said, "Fuck this noise." All right. Do you guys space your coils or you do contact coils? Um, I do space coils almost always. I do no, more, more and more, I like uh, I like them spaced. What about you, Raven? I do contact. Sorry. <coughs> so we still don't know what what the homage on that thing is. Nope. Nah, but he's gonna fuck. Throw, throw it back on there now that you got it heated up. Yeah. Yeah, just don't burn yourself on our coils. <laughs> you already stabbed yourself. Yeah. Didn't think I seen that, huh? <laughs> I just get the feeling that space coils wick better. Yeah. What were they good for flavor? Point, see, it goes 0 0.12 and then 0 0.06. I really don't know why. You get a short. Check, check your bottom pin. See if it's loose. Yeah. Your uh, positive pin. Really? I don't think it has the opportunity to be loose huh? on this. No. Possible. Might have a piece of candle stuck in the post somewhere. No, I mean the way it was heating up, it looked right. Yeah, it looked good heating up. But it jumping around like that. Put a device that's got a meter on it. Yeah, like an IPV. Put it on your IPV. Yeah. 
don't you think if it is 0.06 that it would be uh, a little bit aggressive to put on an IPV? It'll just detect it. It won't. Uh, it probably won't fire it. Yeah, you, you just want the reading. Good call. Okay. Fuck. That was hot. Told you not to burn yourself. What the fuck? No one ever listens to me. Daryl, the coil is hot. Watch out. <laughs> I just got done telling them that. Not to burn yourself. Nice. <laughs> there it is. A little coil imprint. Yeah. Nice. It's a boo boo. <laughs> At least it wasn't on your lips, man. Uh, I've done that. It's fucking. It looks like herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I had a five wrap. One, two, three, four, five. Right on that. I swear I burnt myself. I swear that's what that is. <laughs> she was one hot man. She's reading point oh nine and low resistance it won't fire. So it's so. all right, we get it. Point oh nine. Point oh nine somehow. You know, I had point one two, point oh six. This is going kind of like somewhere in the middle. It's really fucked up. <laughs> not, yeah, look at me. Come on my vape show. Yeah, watch me do all... I don't have no fucking idea what I'm doing. All right. Cool. You guys I'll on show, for the... I'll show you what not to do. <laughs> Absolutely don't do like this. So... I don't know. The positive pin looks healthy. Yeah. Don't know. The insulator around the positive looks healthy. So that just means that that deck shit. That deck is shit. Really? I'll teach you. It's a hundred and twenty dollar worth of shit deck. Oh, I'm beef All right, lifetime warranty. It's gonna go back. The machinist. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Kennedy backs up their product. But it fires nice. So, I don't know. So, like, watch this. This is, this is the absolute epitome of stupidity. I don't know. I can't get any of my devices to, to read this thing and fire it. I might have, that must mean I should put it on a non-regulated mech mod. That's the solution. Safety uh, third. Safety third. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Is is that a parallel mod, Daryl? Yeah, that's safe. Yeah, it'll be just fine. Even even if it is point oh six, it'll yeah. be just fine on that. Yeah, you're all right. If I really need to, I'll stick it on Big Bertha. My triple uh, twenty six six fifty can handle that, no problem. How does your ex girlfriend got to do with anything? Ah. Uh, Raven, you funny man, you. <laughs> Raven, just for you. Just for me. Ah. I seem to have misplaced my Texas Tough cotton. I'm sorry, Raven. That's the second time you've done that. You're not getting any more. You know, you and your uh, Texas Tough have gotten a lot of airtime on my show already. I just, I don't, I don't have, I don't have it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, got an air time, but no show time. Clive uh, in the chat says it should be around 0.13. 0.13? What is the name of that wire you're using again? Rugged wire. It's, uh, yeah, th I think the 0.12 was correct, and then I don't fucking know what happened after that. So. Who knows? Fuck it. Put your safety glass on and fire that bitch. That's it's probably something to do with my deck. I bet there's a piece of something. I, I, I really don't know. What do I want? <laughs> strange. Well, after I, what's going to happen is after I get it wicked and juiced, then I'll put it on like my Sigali or something, and then it'll probably read just fine, but... This, this ain't my. All right. Just 
whip that thing across the room. Fuck it. Do you want to roast it? That's what I would do. I'd whip that thing across the room. Piece of shit. Show me, show me on something that you own how, how you would do that. Oh, let me stop presenting because this is good. Raven, Raven, you must have something bad over there that you can roast right now. What, something bad? Okay. Yeah. There you go. What do you got? I have... Where the fuck did I go? Here you go. Here's a piece of shit device for you. You want garbage? Right there. Piece Can't wait to be introduced. I stick 100 watt. Oh, yeah, definitely. The fucking thing fires like... All right, well, it works for like three days, and then after it works, it's a piece of shit. What are you complaining for? You got three days use out of it. That's good, no? Yeah, I got three days use out of the piece of shit. It's all right. It was only like twenty-seven dollars, though, right? So it averages out to about nine dollars a day for. Uh, you know. Fuck. I noticed recently that when those first came out, they were like seventy, eighty bucks. Now they're like, people are trying to just get rid of them. Yeah. Thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars, something like that. Yeah, it's a joke. Fucking joke. So what is it that you like the least about that? That it doesn't work? Oh, that's a pretty good Yeah. Pretty, pretty good reason. It keeps it really short on my atomizer and and then it reads uh there's no atomizer and then it reads uh no, it's a piece of shit. Don't waste your money. No matter what anybody tells you. Junk. So I stick should have stuck with like their uh, thirty watt. 50, oh. Thirty watt. They 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 reached their peak. They reached their prime as a company at the thirty watt. So you, now the fifty watt's pretty popular. If it didn't burn your house down yet, then it's pretty good so far, I mean, right? It was doing good. They should have just stopped here. That would have been it, you know? Just don't try to get to the big boy fucking game if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> fuck. I almost hit my cat in the head with that fucking bottle when I threw it. Raven's got cats? Oh, yeah. Let's see that creature. I don't know. She, she fucking left after I fucking threw this piece of jerk. Now it probably works since I fucking threw it. Let's see that beastie. Tell you what. What? The stands are beaten. I'm going to put batteries in it now to see if it works after I throw it. You got, did you actually throw that thing on the floor? Of course I did. Fuck, if it doesn't fucking work, it doesn't matter what you do with it. That's true. Door stop. Fucking wheel chuck. Wheel chuck, nice, yeah. Makes a good ohm reader? No. Maybe I should buy one just so I have a good quality ohm reader. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. All right. Let's see what this see what this ohms out to now that it's juiced up. I'm gonna put batteries in it now. See if it works. You might have fixed it. Might have. Might have. Might have. Might have. It's like the Fonzie technique. Remember? I might have found a kink. When the pinball machine didn't work, he would just smack it in the Fonzie way. That's right. I don't like the way this thing eats the batteries. And when you put the fucking thing in, either. Get in there, you slut. Hey, somebody else talk right now? Testing somebody one, two, three. Talk. All right, is this is the screen switching back and forth between everybody? I wasn't looking at the screen. Uh, but I assume it is. Go ahead, Raven. Okay. Yep. 
All right, I'll be right back. I got to get a Sigali or an IPV or something. So far, so good. Atomizer low, and and there's no fucking atomizer on it. What a piece of shit. I'll put this on. No, nope. atomizer low. It's all it reads all the time. What a hunk of shit. So, Zach, when I'm presenting, how do I then take it off presentation mode? Just stop at the top? Yeah, there you go. You just did it. And I was okay. saying that my KFE, my KFE four is a zero, is a point zero three. Hmm. <clears throat> Piece of joke. You having the same problem, I? <sighs> Different reason. All right. Um, just to liven things up a little bit, let's see how this reads on uh, my DNA two hundred. That should be able to read down and fire down that low. It's reading at point one two. So I don't know what was up with my own reader. Or well, my IPV, but yeah, this is reading at a point one two. I think the wire might be confusing it. It might be something to do with rugged wire that it doesn't read the resistance. Correctly, but uh, that's the build. Anyway, I don't know if that was educational, entertaining, or just boring as hell. Oh, did, you, uh, did you get the proper resistance out of it? Or? Yes. It is oming out at 0 0.12, which is exactly what. Hold on, let me go. Now, let me go look in chat. Who was that said it would all matter point one two? No good. <sighs> it's a shame too. Viking funeral. Clive Van Muen point one three. Yep. Point one two, so I think I'm right there. I just if, if I had to guess, I would just say it's not a metal that's easily read by uh, my own reader was very confused, and even the IPV D2 was a little bit confused by it. But vaping great. Hitting like a truck full of dicks. Hitting like a truck full of dirty Devo's dicks. Dirty <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that's about an hour. Let's go see what Raven's up to over here. You know what? More interesting than my build was Raven destroying an IP uh, an I stick hundred watt. Can we see the uh, the offending piece of festering turd? Uh, just a door came off of it. It was nothing great. Didn't All right. So is is that going to be the material for your? Next video? No, there's three coming up. I'm not saying what they are. Some people might get butt hurt early. Okay. But there should be three coming up. Hopefully, around this Thanksgiving is what I'm told. <laughs> if you're going to go to my channel and think you're going to learn something, the only thing you're going to learn is what not to buy. With the piece of shit you already have. There you go. Dual five wrap. Vaping nicely. Yeah. How not to vape. How not to build. 
kind of aggressive. I wouldn't be doing this on a single 18650 mech mod, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, it's faith and great. All right, guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me. So pleasure we talked about, mine. what's that? I said pleasure was all mine. We talked about breaking in the crown. We talked about clone crown coils, clone RBAs. Let's see how this crown is. Uh, let me just max it out at 75 watts. Yeah. It still tastes a little cottony, but it's breaking in, and it's not leaking, and it's just fine. And um, I hope it's not a clone because, well, no, I got that directly from UL, so it better not be a clone. There you go. All right, guys. Everybody watching, thank you very much. I am actually giving, doing a giveaway. You guys don't vape like this, but if anybody knows a smoker, this is a pretty nifty. I did a review on this. This got sent to me by Heaven's Gifts. Heaven Gifts. And it's certainly not something that I'm going to be using and vaping on because I don't rock like this. But um, looks like an ego, right? Got a nice little tank, though. Kind of a competitor to the Ego One. Maybe it needs to be charged. <laughs> Fucking up left and right here all day today. There you go. You gotta turn it on is what you gotta do. I forgot how to turn on an Ego. It's that whole five clicks thing. Something like that. Then, yeah. yeah. That looks good for someone that's just trying to quit smoking. It's got a lot of vapor. That's perfect. It's, this is, you could get this for 30 bucks on Heaven Gifts. Um, I don't know, it's got to be less than 50 bucks. I paid 50 bucks for a Kanger Evod last year, and I quit smoking on that, and the vape wasn't nearly this good. That sucker's great. I mean, nobody has to take as long a draw as I just did, but I'm giving one of these away because I sure don't need it. Um, you may not need it either, but I bet you know a smoker... Um, and I've got like 75 VG, 25 PG juice in here, so it's a 0.5 sub-ohm coil and a nice Ego-style thing. You, it's got pass-through. There's the charging port. You can vape while you're charging it. Um, there's the vent hole. Not trying to do a review on this at the moment. Is but, that uh, an 18650? No, no, just an internal, probably is an 18650 <laughs> shoved in there, but it's just an internal battery in there. You don't open it up. You don't mess with it. Here's the tank. No air. Check this out. No ability to leak from the bottom because there's no airflow from the bottom. There's just this window. Huh. That's how you check your fluid levels. And then it's it's even... Check this coil out. It's cartomizer style. You fill the tank, and then you stick this coil right down into the fluid... And you tighten it down, and the 510 connection connects. Pretty cool. Wow. Nice. And the airflow is through this ring right there, that huh. slot. So um, no leaking, no, no screw-ups. Pretty easy to use, pretty foolproof. I got an Ego One CT. I gave it to a friend of mine. He used a different USB cable to charge it off his computer, and um, now it won't work. So, so that that's done. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend charging off your computer. Yeah, no, I I I was like, who told you to do that? He goes, oh, I just I thought it would be okay. I'm like, oh, you're not okay. <laughs> you just destroyed that. And thank you, it was the only one I had, and it was a sample. Good thing I got my review done already, but. That vape's really good for a little ego style. Now, um, what you have to do to win that is just tell us what you want to see Raven destroy. If you got a product at home or you come across a product that just is a festering turd and really needs to be destroyed, then then you can um, 
maybe we'll uh, we'll arrange for you to get that up to uh, Raven, and he can roast it and destroy it. Well, are you doing a destructive thing, or you just throw shit in the corner? Oh, I can destroy it if you want. All right, but we don't want to step on toes because Robbie Vapes and Donya, they got that show Breaking Mods, and they uh, they destroy things in creative ways. But that's not to say it's not it's not an original idea, but it's hey, definitely hey, creative. A free country, there's more than one supermarket out there. There can be more than one mod destroyer too. What the fuck? And there's true. always more than one way to break a mod. That's right. So the way the way you win this, and this would make a nice Christmas present for uh, a smoker, you know. Um, the way you win that is comment in after after I end this, then you go make your comment in the video. Uh, what you liked most? Of, no, no. What what product you want to see Raven roast? All right, that's how you win it. Is that good? Sounds awesome. And then next week uh, I'll pick a winner. That's about it. Sorry, guys. Not the best build session. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you had some fun. I, I, I'm losing subscribers by the second now. <laughs> but, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to stop the broadcast.